Hi there, Laura here from Get Organized HQ, and I'm going to share my signature three bucket system for planning your days. Now, I'm a little bit of a planner and productivity junkie, so I've tried a bajillion different planning methods, and this is by far the best for planning your days. And before we dive into the system, I just want you to stop and think for a minute about how important it truly is to plan our days well. When I first developed this system, I was feeling completely overwhelmed. I had just moved, I had a one-year-old and an infant. I was also running a growing business, mostly by myself. So there was a lot going on. And I constantly felt like I would go to bed every night just feeling this huge weight of guilt because I didn't get everything done. I tried to plan my days, but instead of making a realistic plan for the day, often it was really truly a wish list. It was a wish list of everything I could get done if everything went according to plan, if I didn't have unexpected interruptions, if I accurately estimated the time, and if I was functioning at full maximum energy all day. And let's face it, most days don't go like that. So I'd make this long list, and a lot of times when I was making the list, I would feel slightly better. Okay, now I've got this list, this is everything I'm gonna get done. But almost never did I get all of those items crossed off and it just felt overwhelming. And then I just started to feel like I had no control over what happened in my days. I would make a list and I would get maybe half of it done on a good day. So I now just felt like there was no more control and it totally wasn't working for me. That is when I came up with the three bucket system and that changed everything. So this system is really simple, but it is highly effective and often the more simple things are the most effective. So instead of just writing down your to-do list for the day, here's what you need to do. First of all, in bucket one, you are going to put your very top priorities for that day. That's the top three to five things that you'd like to accomplish that day. And I often like to ask myself if I went to bed and these were the only things I got done, what would I want those to be? So that really forces me to prioritize the most important things that I need to get done. And this is the real game changer. Almost without fail, I get those things done because I put them in bucket one. I know they're the top priority. And even if my day does not go according to plan and I have all sorts of interruptions, I can still get those few things done. And already you're gonna feel back in control of your days. I'm gonna come back to some more things you can do in bucket one in just a second, but let's move on to bucket two. This is, I think, the easiest bucket. These are your appointments. These are things that you probably already do without fail. You go to your appointments, you're gonna write these down, and that is your bucket two. Then bucket three is everything else, and we call that your wish list. So that's what you really hope to get done, that's what you'd like to get done, that's what you'll get done if the day goes more according to plan, but here's the key. The day was still a success if you only did buckets one and two. If you don't get to bucket three, that's okay. You still succeeded. You still accomplished your plan for the day. Now, some days go really well and I cross off everything in bucket three. Some days, aren't going so well and I cross off nothing in bucket three and most days I cross off some things in bucket three. So that's probably going to be the reality for most of you and you can truly do this system in anything. I mean you can pull out a notebook that you got from the Dollar Tree, you can use a fancy notebook, you can use a planner, you can layer it onto whatever you're already doing. Uh, we have created a tool, a specific planner designed around the three bucket system it is coming next week or it might already be here depending on when you watch this. So make sure you click the link down below. You can either get on the wait list or go ahead and get the planner if that's what you're interested in. But don't let not having it stop you. If you um, aren't gonna buy it or you don't have it, you can still do this system. Now I wanna circle back to bucket one and 
in bucket one, I've layered on a little bit more that will help guide you just a little bit more. So we like to do what we call hop to it in bucket one. So the hop acronym stands for habit, objective, and passion. So within that bucket where I'm putting those top three to five things, I start with the H, which is the habit, and that's whatever habit I'm working on cultivating during that time. And with the habit, this is something that doesn't change from day to day. I work on one habit until I feel like either it's not that important to me anymore or until I feel like I've got it down and then I move on to the next one. So a lot of times I'll work on these for month, two, three at a time. So that one's kind of already decided for it's what for you. It's whatever habit you're working on that month until it becomes a habit. So that's your first thing. Your O for objectives, that, those are the one to three things that you hope to get done that day so that you know no matter what these priorities are happening those are your objectives and then the p stands for passion so we want to make sure that we put in something for ourselves every day something to help take care of ourselves something that we enjoy because so often i think we get caught up in the productivity mindset and trying to get more things done and we forget about taking a little time for ourselves to go for a walk to watch our favorite movie, to spend a little extra time with our kids, things like that. So I, I like to put that in there to make sure that we're not forgetting that. So in that bucket one, you can use that HOP acronym to really help you take it to the next level and make sure you are putting the things that you really want done in that bucket. So I've explained what the three bucket system is, but I think it's really helpful to show you an example. So here in our planner, uh, this is an example week, and you'll see how in bucket one, this person uh, for the H, for the hop and the hop to it, put drink water. So every day, their habit is to focus on staying hydrated and getting enough water. And then the objective, sign up for a 5K, wash sheets, and prepare for teaching Bible class. So those are the three objectives that they want to get done that day no matter what. And then for passion is read book, so taking a little time for themselves. And then you'll see in bucket two is appointments. They have a dentist appointment at 10 and a haircut at 2.30. So those things that are time bound, they have a specific time you need to go to. And then here in our weekly layout, we have one wish list for the whole week. And so uh, this person has planned Jill's birthday party, changing oil, making a doctor appointment, and sewing on a quilt. Those are some things she'd like to get done if she has time. The other thing that you can do is uh, add like take a ruler and add another line there and if you would like a specific wish list for every day you would be able to add it down there if you feel like you need more space for that so i hope this has helped you learn how to plan your days in a more effective manner because i really want you to feel less stress in your day-to-day -day life and really go to bed with that sense of accomplishment and not a sense of overwhelm and guilt every night now you may be thinking all of this sounds great i'm excited to try this but what about everything else like what about all those other goals is that all you do do you just plan your days well i am going to answer that in next week's video and if you're watching this a little bit after i publish it that link will already be down below so be sure you check that out where i'm going to tell you how you can take this even further